Don't know what's going on today, but uh, loads are scarce. You see those two pictures. The first load was yesterday, right about the same time as today, about uh, between 2 and 3 o'clock, and that's how many loads were available in Atlanta. And this is just one app, but uh, this is C.H. Robinson's app. And then I did that again today, and it's about 2.20 right now, and I'm back. I'm down in south of Savannah in Midway at my drop at Target, and uh, that's big change from one day to the next. I don't know what's going on. I heard from another driver that they shut down New York, like letting trucks in. I don't know what the, what, what's going on, but uh, that is scarce loads. And then even out of Savannah right here, I've been looking for loads, maybe one or two on each app that are available. So don't know what's going on. Don't know if that's going to be the norm or, or if it's government regulated or if it's the brokers. I wouldn't think the brokers would just pull something like that and just not have loads for a day. But tomorrow, there are loads, so I basically wonder. Not a, uh, as many as there was yesterday, but there's some loads tomorrow, so. I don't know. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, normally there's a, little, a good amount of loads still left in Atlanta, in Savannah, in Jacksonville. And there's nothing today, so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you can. Um, I'm going to go walk over to this barbecue place. I'm right off of, oh, I forget the exit, but Midway, Georgia, where the, where the uh, Target DC is, there's a little good barbecue place, and there's a McDonald's, and then there's a Parker's right next to us and a Burger King. You'll see it when you get off the freeway if you ever come to uh, Target's DC down here in Midway, Georgia. But yeah, just wondering about the loads. I'm going to keep looking. I uh, probably won't get unloaded for six six hours because they're so backed up at, at Target for getting everything back to stocks, but um, I'm going to keep looking, get some barbecue, and uh, God bless. Anything else cool comes up, I'll add to the video. Walked across the street, got a brisket sandwich at the Smoking Pig. This place is awesome. Never eaten here before, but right off the freeway. Uh, in this dirt lot, they don't allow tractor trailers, but you can park across the way like I am. But um, just kind of researching what's going on. Um, if you're not already a part of the Rates and Lanes group on Facebook, it's called Rates and Lanes, and there's another one called Rate Chasers. Rate Chasers is a new one started by Sammy Lloyd. Uh, makes sense um, on, on YouTube. Great great one that he's starting up there and people are putting a lot of information out there. But the consensus I'm getting on all these ones is that uh, now it's like down to the essential goods. So the typical other manufacturing or I don't know, maybe flatbeds way down, but the amount of freight has dropped drastically in one day. So I was looking at a couple of convoy loads. They had one going back to my hometown, uh, 640 bucks and it's empty pallets. And then um, they had like a group three drop one that was going to my hometown, <coughs> Kimberly Clark and Hendersonville, and then out to Alabama. Um, it was only $1,600 for 600 miles, and it was all pallets. So it's only essential stuff now. Um, loads tomorrow, there's a couple of them, but I don't know if I'm gonna stay here tonight or start heading back towards the house or what, but I'm waiting to get unloaded at Target. So they got my phone number, they'll call me when they're done, and Target's across the freeway. So that seems to be it. They're like cutting back on the kind of loads you can take around. And it is said that New York, I guess, is stopping all shipments except for essential goods. So that looks to be the consensus. I don't know. I'm going to get back to the load boards. But um, I didn't, all those convoy loads, there was three of them I was looking at. Another one was to Ellen, El, Elnor, Ellery, South Carolina. Not Eleanor, but like Ellery. Um, it's just right up where 26 cuts off to uh, Charleston or back towards Columbia. And that one was uh, 500 bucks, and someone booked that one too. So... All three of those are already gone. They were only up for like half an hour. And I bid a little high on all of them like I do normally, but 
I uh, got notifications on each one that they were gone, so stuff is going. But I uh, got some good food in me. I'm gonna get unloaded and then see what the world holds for tomorrow or maybe tonight. God bless and uh, stay safe out there. One more thing in these crazy times. Um, somebody stole my credit card number, somehow acquired it, and had my shipping address, the full one, to get my card to authorize from TireRack.com, and it was shipped to Fairburn, Georgia. And about two weeks ago, I did pick up in Fairburn, Georgia, and I used one of those vending machines with that card, and they also asked for my ID to book that load, or to get that load shipped. Not every shipper will ask for your ID, but maybe half of them do, so that one was one that did, and I was able to remember that, so trying to investigate that a little bit, but Wells Fargo Business is who I have my business accounts with, and they, um, course took care of it for me but at the same time the tires already shipped they shipped they transactioned took place on friday and they shipped friday and got there by saturday so we have the person's uh, this lady i don't know if it's her or her neighbor or if they're using her or if she was part of the scheme but this is the person's name that comes up at the address um that was the wheels where the tires were shipped to and uh, we called her, her phone number is all also listed and she says she first started off saying she's <laughs> doesn't have any kids because we asked her um do you have anybody else that maybe in the house that would have done this and she said oh i don't have any kids and then later on i came with a conversation she says she's a stay-at-home mom and then we look her on facebook and she has three kids they look like they're all young i don't know if it's any of them or maybe it's a friend or somebody else or she knows somebody who works somewhere in fairburn and they shipped it to her house i don't know but either way be careful with your credit cards out there because 800 bucks is 800 bucks and I could, you could use that right now in this crisis and uh, things are getting rough and people are gonna start doing drastic things. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I won't be using any more vending machines wherever I use my ID to get checked in. Food for thought. God bless guys. Keep safe out there.